Hello, welcome everyone to NFTX's governance call. This is our sixth call and they're held weekly at 4 p.m. UTC on Wednesdays. Um, Alex isn't here, so I'm just gonna start off the call straight away by asking you guys uh, if there's anything you want to discuss. Uh, I think one of the most important things of this call's uh, like purpose would be to, to make a decision uh, in regards to single versus combined funds, or at least like to get a uh, consensus on that. So yeah, um, if anyone else has any ideas, uh, feel free to, to propose something now. No, I think that's good, sorry. Um, I also think that at the end of the call, I haven't checked out the agenda, so sorry if I'm skipping, um, that maybe we just kind of give a preview of what we're going to be taking a look at next. Not that we have any concrete plans around that in regards to Gallery, V2, and the app. Yep, that's fine for me. Cool. All right, I'll pass it over to you, Chop. Uh, yeah, cool. So I have a, a big agenda, kind of. Uh, so I'll run a bit fast through the weekend review as part of the like governance call uh, format uh, just to like cover the uh, the topics that we uh, touched on last week and then I'll move into the good stuff uh, so uh, in the last week we've mainly uh, focused on rolling out the gallery launch uh, so that's in its alpha version meaning that it's very much um, uh, yeah, pushed to get as much user feedback as possible to uh, move it into a direction where it's valuable for the user. Um, one thing to know is that only the uh, current active pools that also have an AMM uh, pair, so tradable on a DEX, a decentralized exchange, uh, are listed on the gallery uh, and the rest isn't uh, on purpose just to, to make sure there's no confusion uh, whenever people want to invest into an index. Uh, so that's good to know. Uh, then another topic that's good to know is that all the CryptoPunk funds uh, moved from uh, Balancer over to SushiSwap. And with that, I mean all the punks that had an ETH pair, uh, so the 50-50 uh, pairs. They moved over to SushiSwap uh, just for the sake of uh, getting more volume on them because not a lot of people use Balancer for trading at the moment before they roll out V2. Uh, so that's been done. And uh, we're also looking at like uh, getting onsen spots for each of those funds. I'm in contact with the, uh, with the Sushi team to get that done. Uh, then there, uh, yeah, the, the, the weekend review was mostly on other stuff that happened in the industry, uh, which, uh, like, if you haven't read it, go and check it out because it's, uh, it's a good summary of the entire NFT, uh, space. Uh, so that's the weekend review. Um, then my next point was also a fund, which we launched yesterday evening, which is the bull run babes fund. This is very, very similar to the hash mask fund that we launched. Uh, so we set up the funds for their project, uh, like in, in uh, I talked with their team and basically we just made a pool uh, without an allow list, meaning that any pool run babe can be put in, uh, meaning that organically it will become like a floor pr uh, price pool, similar to hash mask and punk basic. Uh, so we made that and launched that and uh, yeah, copy pasted kind of the hash mask block article so that people that are not familiar with NFTX know how they uh, can use the current front end to uh, yeah, LP, uh, liquidity provide uh, their NFT. Uh, then there's another fund uh, that's that I'm working on setting up, uh, which is for Ether cards. So it's another NFT project which hasn't launched yet. So they're very much in their pre-sale stage. I think they're launching publicly in eight or seven days. Uh, and I'm in contact with their team to see if we can utilize NFTX to do some sort of a pre-launch event for them, uh, meaning that they will put in an amount of cards, uh, hasn't been decided yet, and pair that with Eve on uh, Sushi or Uni, uh, depending on what they want. Uh, so that people that want an edge over public sale can do so by uh, buying essentially their NFTs 
through the NFTX vault uh, uh, on an AMM, which is kind of a cool use case. And it's uh, a first time tryout. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm quite curious what it's what is going to happen uh, uh, if people are going to buy into it and then redeem the cards or just hold the tokens until uh, the public launch happens. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. I've got a call uh, later tonight at uh, 11 or 12 my time to uh, fill in all the details and then uh, just create the pool and see what happens. Um, so that's on funds. Then there's another topic that I'm currently personally working on, uh, which is around uh, building proposals or one kind of meta proposal to uh, grow the open org. Uh, because right now, uh, and I made a tweet earlier today, we kind of have two people on something that we call core and a lot of people that are contributing uh, but aren't on the core team, whatever uh, that's supposed to mean. So what I want to do is basically attract more people to also be incentivized to stay around. Uh, and I feel like it's it's quite clear which uh, people, so the gallery squad, uh, Vasa, all those uh, like day-to-day -day contributors. Uh, I'm in talks with them uh, to see what, uh, uh, yeah, uh, like wished for from their point of view, uh, because not everybody wants to be an employee for DAO or like uh, wants to be part of a core team. Uh, so I'm in talks of that, and then I'm uh, building a proposal to push it to a vote uh, for governance. Uh, so that's, uh, I think, going to be in a draft version at the end of this week, and then we'll move it over to uh, like the, the normal process uh, later. Oh, there's someone that wants in. Right. Uh, so, so that's uh, uh, quite exciting, I think, for the, for the, for the growth of the DAO or OpenOrg. Um, then apart from that, we're also starting with a actual website for nftx so javery I, I don't know if he's on the call i don't think so um uh he started yeah, he's busy yeah yeah so he started already a few weeks ago on uh building the structure uh for essentially an educational slash marketing oriented website uh which is heavily needed for new people that come in uh, right now they land on nftx.org and are major confused because they don't know what they see. Uh, so similar to like how uniswap.org is kind of a, like a educational website and then moves into an app or range of products in our case, uh, that's kind of where we have to head to like uh, first touch points being, uh, making people understand what NFTX and our products actually are uh, and are valuable for rather than pushing them directly to products. Uh, so that's a, a project that's starting or has started uh, already. Um, and then there's the last point, which is also like flowing through after uh, my points, which is uh, rolling out the funds. So we we had the proposal uh, voted yes on on liquidity allocation, uh, which kind of was splitting the liquidity on combined funds, so D2, and single funds, so D1, uh, on a 50-50 split. Uh, but with the recent, like, looking at how the markets react on deeper liquidity for D1, so single funds, uh, mainly looking at hash masks, uh, but also, like, uh, Punk Basic, the feedback we get on that being too illiquid, so it's not really useful for uh, people to... Uh, uh, to use. It's a discussion that, uh, that's currently happening and already started last call, uh, which I feel will be retroactively impacting the rolling out of all the other funds. So XE and uh, Avastars. Um, I'm kind of holding back on launching these funds at the moment until there's a clear consensus on do we prioritize single fund liquidity over uh, combined fund liquidity, because if we do, it makes no sense to roll out uh, as originally planned with the 50-50 split. So uh, I'm happy to have that uh, discussion moving to the forum. And I think we start off uh, on that 
on this call uh, as it's a topic on the agenda um, and then apply basically the rates or that the percentage uh, rates that we decide on for the CryptoPunks funds uh, changing, I would apply that the same to um, uh, to all the other funds that we have planned to launch. So that's going to be uh, a good discussion to have. And I think that's it for me. And it's also the next point of discussion for Finesse. Yeah, so uh, the reason this is like very interesting and important is because uh, a very recent proposal was passed and had consensus for this. Mm -hmm. So why are we not going through with it? Mm -hmm. um, so I think the reason we aren't is because it's a, it's a very important issue. And if we go through yeah. with it, we spend gas and that gas won't be returned if we go through with it and then decide in the future to go backwards. So uh, like from like a top level, I mean, it can always be voted against. But yeah, from a top level, we're mainly just waiting out and uh, looking at what consensus will be against single and combined funds. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like, we had a, a discussion yesterday, and we might just focus more on uh, single funds and try and grow vertically and just get a good product there that was proven uh, with Mask. So, let's say if the best place to trade, like, floor punks would be NFTX, that would be a great moat for the protocol. Uh, and right now, D2 funds or combined funds are not working properly, and they absolutely need D1 or single liquidity initially. If you don't have that, then the like the second layer will just never work. So I think just prioritizing on that now and seeing what we do later is a better focus. But yeah, uh, it's mainly to, to open up the discussion, get everyone's differing point of views, but yeah, I think uh, with the way Balancer works, I'm, I'm, I think it's just much better to focus on uh, single funds, especially because so gas prices went up so much since the light paper and since the raise and even uh, Ethereum has gone up and down since then. So yeah, things that were initially planned may or may not be as good or bad as they were thought out to be. Yeah. Yeah, and also to add, like, the, not only gas prices, but also the entire NFT uh, scene in general has been priced much higher than uh, we did during the race. So uh, I think when we did the race, the floor price of a punk was close to, like, 5 ETH. So, yeah, it was right. about 80 Ether for a zombie and 5 mm -hmm. for floor punk and 6 yeah. for female. So the main issue we have right now is that zombie punks are valued at a much higher rate, or rather they have a different price discovery. Mm -hmm. Like each category or trade has their own price discovery. They're yeah. not valued at the exact rarity like ratio mm -hmm. that they should mm -hmm. be at. Like it's not an efficient market, which is, I mean, that's evident in hindsight. But yeah, so the, that's one problem we have with combined funds is that since they're weighted equally and they have a different price discovery, it can just like issue the prices in a negative way for the LPs. Yep. Cool. So uh, state, uh, you're around. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. I'm I am. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so basically yesterday uh, evening, we talked a bit on how to move forward with this discussion because we talked about uh, origin. Originally, we talked about moving liquidity from uh, NFTX ETH to uh, the Punk's basic pool, which is kind of uh, unnecessary if we say that uh, combined funds aren't really valuable to be an LP for at the moment as a DAO. So I'm not saying like uh, combined funds aren't uh, valuable at all. But just from a like a capital point of view, uh, being an LP, it makes much more sense to provide uh, the most value by providing all the liquidity on the floor pools, uh, being punk basic. Um, so to, to to be to be more specific, right now it, it's more efficient to be uh, an LP on a D1 pool than mm -hmm. a D2 pool. Yeah, yeah. So we should just focus on whatever is best for our user, which would mm -hmm. be someone minting or buying. So that would be like slippage, which would be based off the LP, which would also be a user for us. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, 100%. So, so what, what we need to decide is who's taking the lead to start this discussion on the forum uh, and 
how is that going to end up in a uh, in a proposal? Like, I I'm fine to do it, uh, but uh, like, I don't, I don't want to be the only one that's going to create the proposal uh, because it's kind of the opposite of what I proposed with the original uh, allocation. Uh, so, state we talked yesterday. Uh, like, are you going to propel that discussion, or should I, or should Vanessa, or like, what's your idea? State is not here, I guess. <laughs> state is asleep because I was so boring. Uh, sorry, I. Uh what did you say? Did you ask me something? Uh, yeah, yeah. I said uh, we talked yesterday, right? Yes, yes. Uh, so my question was, uh, who's gonna move the discussion forward uh, on the forums uh, based on what we said yesterday? Like instead of doing the uh, liquidity from NFTX ETH to uh, take the liquidity from Punk ETH uh, and say something like okay we allocate 10 percent to d2 and 90 percent to d1 and ju just saying random numbers um and that's the discussion and if we agree and that we draft that into a proposal that's mm -hmm. passing then that also means that it will apply to uh the rest of the funds so xe and uh avastar and all those uh things that are on hold uh, that's kind of what we need to do and because cryptopunks is so in the news at the moment i feel there's quite a need to do that without waiting too long uh yeah bob you're you can speak yep yeah so okay. i i can i can bring uh, the 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 subject on the forum if i can do that today probably and uh, yeah do you wanna me. you wanna do that i i can do it too i'm yeah. fine uh, well. Bobby is trying to say something. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. So, uh, so the punks have five different D1 pools, whereas Avastar's Axies would have three. Does mm -hmm. that make a difference? Uh, it's it's mostly so so what what the most uh the thing that has the most impact is the price of each individual NFT. So the lower one NFT is priced, the uh the less it makes a difference. So for Avastars, they're priced pretty low at the moment, I believe, uh, at least last time I checked on the floor prices. So they don't need a crazy ETH liquidity pool versus, for instance, Joy, which is, uh, I think, floor priced at 45 or something, uh, which is way harder to make efficient as a D1 pool or a single fund. Uh, so it's, it's kind of, based per category and then also with xe it's even worse uh xe is i think the most complicated pool to have an have a good opinion on because of their utility uh so mm -hmm. the 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 axes that are in the pool are worth a certain amount right now because the game is played in a certain way right now uh, but if the entire meta changes in the next season then the whole index doesn't make a lot of sense anymore yeah uh, so this is this was uh some of uh, delphi's criticism yeah. and i think out of the entire piece that was the only like valid concerns mm -hmm. is that how do you have an index where we set parameters on the creation mm -hmm. but then those values like are are not valued as much later on yeah exactly like, like i mean there's origin and uh, mystical parts which are more of a uh, collector's thing rather than a meta thing. But still, uh, some of the mystics are more valuable because they apply more to the meta versus uh, different seasons. So yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. To, so, to, to, to get mm -hmm. back on the like the proposal. Mm -hmm. So I think it's it, it could be two proposals. It could be um, should we pause pushing combined funds and should we use uh, liquidity from those and which ones uh, yep. for like D1 pools that we think are the most valuable, mm -hmm. which to me would be like, uh, well, mask, we don't have any, but I think 
Punk Basic is a is a no brainer, mm-hmm. and maybe like a Vastar could work as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, with uh, the going back on the the whole punk like uh, single funds versus combined funds, that's also gonna be a bit different than the rest because uh, Onsen is gonna probably apply to all those funds. Uh, so that's gonna be an extra incentive for for people to uh, LP organically, uh, but it shouldn't really change our uh, discussion. Yeah, yeah. It should be like an external factor. It's, yeah, not it's something it's we nice consider. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. Uh, so, but, yeah. Uh, state, unless you have anything else to say, uh, I think we can move on. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Thanks. So uh, I think we should push a golden robot fund, but I'm wondering, like, is the price too high now? Like, mask was very uh, golden robots for hash masks. Yeah, what is the price? Uh, Let me, I I don't know off the top of my head. Yeah. Um, Like 15 or 20 ether, I think. Okay. Chop, is there any plans to add the liquidity from the DAO to the bull run, babes? Fund? No. No. We don't yeah. uh, We don't have any babes as the DAO. No. So that's... Not true. That's which, kind so, of... Yeah, no. Go uh, the, the, the advantage of the like raise was that we acquired NFTs. Mm-hmm. And since then, they've mooned and we can use them like as our own inventory. Whereas other protocols now would have to pay much more or sacrifice much more to get the same NFTs to bootstrap their own pools. They have to rely on external users, whereas we can actually bootstrap many pools ourselves. Yeah, yeah, it's it's 15 to 25 Ether. Okay. Yeah. So I'm curious what happens when we create uh, one. I'm all for creating one. It's just that uh, looking, uh, just looking at like past growth, organic growth of Mask and the Bull Run Babes versus uh, Punk Basic. Um, I believe that on Punk Basic we are kind of like ninety-five percent of uh, of liquidity provider, while on Mask and Bull Run Babes were zero, and they both so Mask and uh, Bull Run Babes both have, I think uh one has one percent of the total supply uh, and the other one has five percent ish i think uh mask like 800 masks in total uh and i feel like the 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 higher price they are the less uh organically the fund is gonna grow and looking at golden robots there are 15 or 20 right now i feel they won't really grow as much as mask will so and it's, it's fine to still offer it but uh i wouldn't have the same expectations as floor mask yeah and in, in like there isn't really much damage no 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 can be I'm, in launching it but yeah I, I was more talking like in so the the value added from it mm-hmm. but my main concern actually isn't the price because it's similar to punks and floor punks yeah, yeah. it's more so the quantity there's 165 uh-huh so when you have low quantities, uh, like price discovery, like occurs at a much like different rate. Mm-hmm. So uh, because of the open sea mechanics, like if we have a lot on like our end and then the bids get really high on open sea, like the, the ARB could just increase price discovery to like a very high price for no reason because there's such a small supply. Yeah. Yeah. True. Um, did you did you have any contact with uh, their golden robot community? Which uh... no, not specifically. Okay, yeah, might but be. Uh, I mean, there's multiple people on our Discord and on their uh-huh. Discord who has asked for golden robot funds. Okay, like it, mean, it's we... a it's a wanted product. Yeah, I mean, we can try it, and uh, it, it from our side, it doesn't cost us a lot. Like uh, it's only the uh, the fund creation uh, costs. And we learn more uh, yeah. by comparing like higher price yep, organic growth versus. Uh, so I think it's a, like a win for us. Uh, if it's if it's gonna grow, I don't know. Can't look in the future, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, so I, I think we can push that as the yeah. next fund for sure. Yeah. Because like we're still taking our time to decide what we should do. 
with the single and combined funds. So D1s yeah, yeah. And D2s. Uh, yeah, all good. Um, are you gonna uh, push that, or you want me to? Uh, yeah, I can. I can push that, but I mean, I think. So yeah, I, actually, we we do need a proposal because we have to buy that. So yeah. What do we have to buy? Uh, well, golden robot. Why? To launch the fund. You don't. BLP. You don't. No. So that's what I what I did with uh, Bull Run Babe. Is I just told uh, I I call yeah I talked with Kirby Blue Kirby. Mm -hmm. I just said yo I'll set up the pool. Uh, you can do the rest and that, and the same we're gonna do with with Ether cards. We just mm -hmm make the pool and give them all the info mm -hmm. uh, so they can mint uh, their NFTs and also create the uh, uh, the NFT pool on either Sushi or yes. whatever. So I, I don't think a proposal is required then in that case. I mean, we just have to tell Alex to do it because yeah. we already have a mask fund. So it's not like a new NFT or whatever. No, no. It's uh, the only thing that we need is an ID allow list, uh, yep. allow list with all the IDs of the golden robots. That's it. Um, so if you, if you can make that, that uh, that would be perfect. Otherwise, I can do. Yeah, yeah, I can probably work on that today. Cool. So, um, oh, I think uh, JB left. <laughs> oh, <laughs> took too long. Yeah. Well, whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, he left one minute ago. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be talking much about the future of the gallery. Mm -hmm. There's not much uh, else part to recap, just that uh, we have to propose something more formal for single versus combined funds and yep. uh, we'll get an allow list for golden robots. Yeah, and also like uh, while we're on the topic of new funds, uh, I have a uh, very long list with new uh, funds that either got requested uh, towards me or someone else from a contributor team. So right now I have a list of, I think four or five, which are uh, ether cards. So the one I just uh, explained, Euler beats, uh, non-fungible Pepe's, Cometh, uh, Pepemon, and that's it, I believe, yeah. So if there's any like other project you feel would make sense to create a uh, create a pool for, or you see any like uh, high growth NFT projects? Feel free to always ping any of the team because so, we're in the like stage where we can easily, uh, yeah. Uh, right now, there there's NF Fields, uh, which is being worked on. Okay. Which may be an interesting project to add, but yeah, that's yeah. that's in the very early stages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, that's what I try and do. Always keep my alias out for new potential funds, new potential yeah. NFT projects. Yeah, and it's only like a temporary thing. Uh, yeah, uh, because of the like contract pause. That, I was going to say. Oh that. yeah, that we didn't cover that because Alex is not here. Uh, but that's kind of done. Uh, so Alex is collaborating with Fasa on rolling that out uh, this week. He said so. So that until that happens, we kind of handhold all the projects to build their funds. But after that's done, it's probably going to move into the direction of just having great documentation so that people can do it themselves and still being open to support whenever they need help. Uh, I think that's the right way to go. I agree. Cool. Uh, yeah. All right. So I think that covers uh, everything for this week's governance call. Mm -hmm. Does anyone have uh, any personal comments or questions? All right. So I think we can wrap this up. Thank you to everyone for participating. And uh, see you next week if you guys are here.